Hello everyone, welcome to PatientEducationPro.com. I'm your friendly host, Naveen. Today we're going to talk about two key issues with atrial fibrillation management. The first issue is the issue of heart rate control versus heart rhythm control. Will your physician try to just control your heart rate or is he going to try to flip your heart rhythm back into sinus rhythm from atrial fibrillation? With heart rate control, the goal is to try to just control the heart rate. Thus, patient would still be in atrial fibrillation. However, heart rate is, is brought under control with medications like beta blockers, for example, metoprolol, and calcium channel blockers like deltaism. By rhythm control, the physician tries to reset the heart into sinus rhythm from atrial fibrillation. This can be done with the help of medications and is called chemical cardioversion, or it can be done by electrical shock, also known as electrical cardioversion. Medications can then be used to keep the patient in rhythm. These medications include flecainide, sotalol, or amiodarone. The second issue is the management of atrial fibrillation is the prevention of stroke. Now, stroke is a deadly complication of atrial fibrillation. The first question that arises is, what is the risk of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation? A patient's risk of stroke can be calculated by using an abbreviation called as chad vask and in this table i have expanded on the abbreviation so c stands for a history of congestive heart failure h stands for hypertension a uh, age above the above 75 years gets two points diabetes stroke or tia or prior clots gets two points vascular disease gets one point age between 65 and 74 gets one point and being a female gets another point so all these points are added for a patient and if the score is above two then blood thinners like coumadin or apixaban rivaroxaban or dabigatran are strongly recommended if the score is zero then no blood thinners are recommended a baby aspirin may be given if the score is 1, then that's a gray zone. It's a bit controversial. We could give either blood thinners or just a baby aspirin. So here you are. These are the two clinical issues with AFib management explained. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments below. If you like this video and would like to see more of such patient educational videos, go to our website www.patienteducationpro.com. Thank you and have a great day.